Ben, I bet you say that to all the girls. Oh, hey. Oh, shoot, it's time to do the thing. Bitches, let's do this. Got my 80s hair on. Got my Ben shirt on. Today we're counting down on the Ben 10, the top 10 songs from the era of the first album. Not strictly on the first album, the Cars, but that time period. And we're gonna get started right off the bat. Number 10 is All Mixed Up. People love Ben's eyes toward the end of this song in this video, and, you know, I have to agree. The eyes won it last time in the poll as his best feature, and they're looking sparkly and beautiful here. Number nine is a terrific video uploaded by Stargazer477. Take me now. I love this song because sleeping is my special gift. I only wish I could figure out how to make money off of it, but I can relate to this song. Wake me up. Number seven. For as an intro to this one, I thought about wearing a bikini and taking off the top, but nobody, let's face it, nobody wants to see that. But I know you want to see this Ben singing Moving in Stereo. is a video by Lucky Deb 61. Hey Lucky Deb 61. Hey Deb. Um, she has two on the countdown this week and this is the first one. It's Cool Fool at number six. <laughs> Results. This week's question was Who should play Benjamin Orr in a biopic, in a movie of his life? The options were well, first let me start off by saying that 
I automatically discounted Rutger Hauer because he's just too old. There's no way he can play a young Ben Orr at this point. Um, also James Spader, just because I love you James Spader, but you haven't held up. There's no way he could play a young Ben Orr anymore, I don't think. And then of course there were <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer and Debbie Harry and Farrah Fawcett were all possible candidates, but I didn't think they were quite right either. Um, so, and somebody even requested Benjamin Orr's son. I don't know if he has acting skills, but I think he's only like 16 or 17. I don't know if he could do the whole thing. But a lot of great suggestions, a lot of great ideas. In fact, I, one idea was so good, I even included it. I redid the poll. Um, the original poll was a choice among um, Viggo Mortensen, mainly for his chin and his cheekbones. Um, Jude Law, I mean, I've just heard a lot of people say that Ben looks like Jude Law, and Jude Law is an actor out there who could do it. Uh, Cameron Diaz. <laughs> Cameron Diaz. Um, James McAvoy for the eyes. And that was going to be it. That was the four. Usually there are four choices to the poll. But then Claire wrote in with Simon Baker. How could I forget Simon Baker? He's perfect. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, so he got added. And the winner is... It was a tie. James McAvoy and Simon Baker each got the same number of votes. Um, but everyone got at least one vote, including Cameron Diaz. So we'll see. If there's ever a biopic made of Ben, we'll see who they get to play him. Thanks everyone who voted. And if you'd like to participate in next week's poll, this is where you can find it. Moving on in the countdown to number five, we're halfway through. It's the second one by Lucky Deb 61, and it's Strawberry Moonlight. Strawberry Moonlight. Number four on the countdown is My Best Friend's Girl. I love this version, this video version, because Ben does his little shoulder shimmy in the beginning, and I love it. My Best Friend's Girl. And all of these dancing down the street with the sway through her eyes We're up to number three, and it's Bye Bye Love. Some of you may know that Barbara, Babs 10, actually saw this when she was a 10-year-old girl. She was in the audience in the front row, and it has been made a lifelong impression on her, as, as I'm sure you're aware, those of you who know her. So shout out, Barbara, and Bye Bye Love. Benny 11 Letters, Upload of Just What I Needed. 
It's just what we needed. Number one song of the era of the first album by The Cars is a video by Yuff Enough and it's Good Times Roll. Now a lot of people adopt this as their party anthem. A lot of people say it's ironic and it's meant to be the opposite of what it says, that it's actually almost a dirge. But it's a very, very popular song, whichever way you look at it. Good Times Roll, number one this week. See you next week. Let the good times roll Let them knock you around Let the good times roll Let them make you a clown